Lori Lovell Bar, and this is In My City. Today we're on location in Kissimmee, Florida with Rodney and Chanel Septo of Me Ellen Homes. Hey guys, thank you so much for having us in your lovely home. Oh my God. Thank welcome, you for welcome. coming. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, oh, you welcome. You know we love you. I love you too. <laughs> this is so great. So what I usually like to start off with when I interview my awesome guests, it's kind of letting everybody get to know you guys. So where are you guys from? Oh my God, Ronnie and I are from opposite ends of the earth. Opposite. <laughs> Total opposite. I'm from the north, he's from the south. Really? I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, born and raised. Okay. And he's from Houston, Texas. I'm from Texas. Houston, Texas. Oh my God. Okay, so let's talk about Neal and Holmes, okay? Tell me about the vision of Neal and Holmes. Well, the mission is to have compassion for people in distressed property situations, okay. um, to have attention to detail and act with a sense of urgency when we're actually serving those that we help to start a new beginning. And how long have you guys been in business? Well, Nielen was born on um, March 10th. I love of that. 20, born. Yeah, it was birth. Because <laughs> there was a lot of work to a lot get of to work. The, okay. a lot March of work. 10th. So, March 10th of 2017 is when we became official. Excellent. Yeah. And I love how you did use birth. So, the name, it's very unique. What does it mean? Okay, so it's not a real deep meaning. Okay. But basically, <laughs> it's all three of our names that so we have a six year old. It's all three of our, our names put together. Oh, so, wow. Rodney, so Ni, uh -huh. and Ellen, so Chanel, E L, uh -huh. and then Dejan, A N, so Ni Ellen. Oh, wow, I yeah. love that. I love that. Okay, so I did hear in your mission that we were talking about um, compassion for people in distress situations. Yes. So what are distress situations? What are we talking about here? Well, those are situations, those are properties, the homes that you have acquired, that you have on your hands that are really putting you in a bind. Mm. Um, if you, you've acquired it through an inheritance that you just really don't want it, don't need it, don't have a desire to keep on. Um, holding on to it, mm -hmm. um, you're cert you're seeking divorce, not seeking divorce, but you're uh, probably go about to go through an experience of divorce, mm -hmm. and this is a property you want to get off your hands because you want to just part ways with it. Um, a, a property that you inherited, it was a, it was an investment at one point in time, but uh, it's becoming more of a bill than it is a a, 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 a profit for you, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, so things of that nature, anything that's putting you in a bind is pretty much a distressed property situation. Um, an elderly person that really needs to let go of that home, they need for us to transition to two, um, an assisted living facility. Those things of that nature, um, we, we, we assist in, in all realms of just relieving yourself of a property that's really causing you a burden. Many people have properties that are in distress physically. They require a lot of renovations that can be very costly and they don't have the time or the money or energy to put into revitalizing the property. And so they would contact somebody like us and um, say, hey, I want to kind of I want to let it go I don't have the time the money the energy to put into this property and I want to get it off my hands okay so tell me what is your target market then so ideally when we first started um, the Ellen um, I work with seniors I've worked okay. with seniors for the last 16 and a half years wow. transitioning them from their homes to a more clinically stable structured environment um, and those people have properties or homes that they've lived in for years years and years and years mm -hmm. that need renovations that um, the adult children don't want, mm. they are not going to live in, they're not, you know, they don't need the property. Um, and they would come to me and say, hey, Chanel, what do I do with this house? Mm -hmm. And I'd say, I don't know, go call a realtor. <laughs> but then they would come back to me and say, well, no one helped my mom or dad. You know, wow. um, they don't understand what it is to have Alzheimer's. Or they don't understand the challenges that we're dealing with as far as packing and moving and all those little details mm -hmm. that you have to be patient with our senior population. Um, and so I started doing some research and I came back and talked to Rodney about it and say, we can feel a need here. Mm. There's a need. I like that. Um, and so our target market initially was seniors or is seniors. Okay. Let me say that. Um, people that are transitioning from their home because of a medical emergency mm -hmm. or they can't handle the property anymore as far as keeping up the maintenance on the property or um, they're empty nesters and they're trying to just downsize. Okay. Um, since 2017, we've kind of grown. 
um, people have referred to us or other community partners have referred to us um, individuals going through divorce like Rodney was saying individuals that um, just want to get rid of the property because they're moving out of town mm -hmm. or um, absentee landlords people that have houses that yeah. just you know want to decrease their portfolio or again like I said the property's in distress it has lawn up to here mm -hmm. or um, they don't need the property anymore. And so we started seeing more than just seniors. Okay. So I, I think our latest client we worked with um, was in her 40s. So uh -huh. there's no age limit. Our services work for just about everybody. Anybody. It just depends on the situation, um, if it's a distress situation. <clears throat> okay. So take me through the process. I, let me give you a situation. I am, I inherited a house from um, a family member who passed away, left it to me in the will. But um, I live in another state. Mm -hmm. I kind of don't want to be a landlord. Yeah. What do I do? Take me yeah. through. If I, you know, I got in contact with you, I was referred by one of your lovely clients. <laughs> <laughs> so take me through the steps. Mm -hmm. So basically, when we get in contact with you, mm -hmm. we first and foremost, we have compassion for what you're going through. Mm -hmm. You might not be physically ill, or you may not um, have any physical ties to the property, mm -hmm. but um, it's a burden on you in some form or fashion. Yes. And so we just want to let you know that we appreciate mm -hmm. the opportunity to work with you and help you through this difficult time. Mm -hmm. Like he said, our goal is to clear out all the clutter and the discombobulation, the confusion, and show you a pathway where you can start a new beginning without having to deal with this property, mm -hmm. right? Um, so after we discuss the property, we find out the details of the property. How many bedrooms, how many baths, is it a one story, is it a two story, where is it located? Um, and then we'll do some research on the property. And we let people know right up front, we're not gonna pay top dollar for your property. That's okay. not what we're in the business to do. We're not realtors um, and ideally we, Although we could, right. we're not going to be listing your property on the market. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come and assess the situation as is mm -hmm. to free you from having to worry about moving, to have to worry about wow. repairs, to have to worry about all those things because we're like an octopus with all these different resources that we have at our disposal. Oh. Um, so if you need someone to come in and clean it out because mom or dad was a hoarder, this house that you just inherited, yeah. we have um, partners, community partners that we work with that. Wow. Um, and let me just start, let me say that our services don't <coughs> cost our clients a dime. Really? We no, don't, don't charge for what we do, okay? No, we, we try to make the process as seamless as possible. Exactly. So basically, we will evaluate the property uh -huh. as is, mm -hmm. and we will make you a cash offer. What would be a cash offer for your property? Wait a minute. Based on the current situation. situation. Now, some people will say they don't know exactly know what their property is worth right um, and so we we use we have a system that we use where we can evaluate the actual market value of the property as is yes. okay wow. and we try um, to be as fair as possible with exactly yeah okay so um, consideration what your next move would be to make sometimes we want we want we want to make sure you're having enough money to take care of whether that transition is because we, wow. we we have a vetting process at the beginning it's in the state of what we do that initial in home and we try to find out everything involved in this transition. What? Why am I here? Why am I here? That's right. the question we ask. Why am I here? Right. And we take everything in consideration when, 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 when before we come back with that offer, mm -hmm. um, and we even bounce back ideas. Hey, if we offer them this, um, would they be able to pay for this and that? So all that is taken into consideration whenever. We make yeah, it. we find out so much about people <clears throat> when we start talking to them because it may be more than just the property. So it may be. This yeah. Just leads me into my next question. In your mission statement, and I've heard it through the interview, compassion mm -hmm. for your client. So my question is, if you could give me one word, how would your clients describe you? We were talking about this earlier. We really were. Really? Yeah. We really were. Yeah. Uh, and, and there were a couple of them that kind of bounced in our head because we would say, how can you narrow it down to one? So I say, mm -hmm. you know, Chanel, what? What have people said about it as they hear? Yeah. yeah so I mean, it's kind of hard to say one, but I can give you one. But okay. it was two. But it was two, really. Okay. Um, one of them was different. Okay. Um, a lot of people say that's different. When they hear what we're doing, mm -hmm. they'll say different. Mm. Um, I've never heard of that before. Mm. And uh, as Chanel hit on it earlier, the, well, another word we hear very often is um, it's a necessity that's needed. It is. It's a need. Um, it's a need. It's it a is. need. It's a need being met. And 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 that's kind of what sparked um, kneeling in, in itself is, is, is meeting that, meeting a need. 
and we, when people hear it, I think the number one would, I would say different. And but, it's, so, but yeah. it's so crazy that you do say that because it's true. Um, I believe the same thing. When I first heard about the business, same, the same two um, words came up, different, never heard of it before, and it is needed. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, you had clients who were coming to you um, with these issues and had nowhere to go, so you filled that need, that void, and kudos to you guys on that. Oh my goodness, Thank I you. love that. <laughs> so going back to being compassionate and all, what are some of the um, charitable um, events that you guys have done so far? So ideally what we'd like to do is sponsor or participate in at least two to three events a year. But because we were just starting out in 2017, we did quite a few events okay. just to get our name out there. Mm -hmm. um, so we held quite a few vendor spots. Um, one was at the Jewish Community Center World Fair um, where there was a host of agencies there from hospice to physician services to massage therapy. Um, we also participated in the Orange County um, Recreational Center back to school event in August. Um, another event we sponsored was the um, African Leadership Council mm -hmm. um, where we just filled a vendor spot and shared the good news about what Neil and Holmes was doing in the community. Mm -hmm. um, can you think of? We did the uh, uh, we hosted a community talk at the Brookdale Community Center. Yeah, the um, we did a small seminar at a senior living community mm -hmm. just okay. to share because there are a lot of people there in transition. They were there just for therapy or short term, but they were kind of on the fence about should they move into assisted living permanently. So we came in and kind of helped ease their minds about what services were in the community, such as Neil and Holmes, that mm -hmm. can help them help them make their transition a lot smoother. Okay. And um, also uh, the back of school event for Orange County, uh, we participated in that as well. Excellent. Yeah, we donated school supplies and backpacks and things of that nature as well. And also we were able to set up a booth and a table to talk about Neil and Holmes uh, to the community that we were serving at that time wow. at the community center too. Oh, we also did the Small Business Expo with the Seminole County um, Chamber. Excellent. Yeah, so that was a really nice event as well. I met a lot of people and was able to do a lot of networking. So that leads me into my next question. <laughs> Why is networking um, so important to you guys? Oh my gosh, networking is huge. Mm. Um, I, well, I like to say word of mouth is the best marketing tool you could ever, ever have. It can make you or break you mm. in any business. Um, and so it's important for people to know you as a person, mm -hmm. for them to trust you, especially when you're dealing with a distressed situation. People need to be able to trust that you're going to help them. So we like we spend a lot of time building trust with our clients to let them know we're here to help. And if we can't help, we're very transparent that we cannot help this specific situation, but we don't like to leave people high and dry. We will refer them somewhere where we think they can get the help. Wow. Um, but that's the, yeah, that's the important part of it. Just, just to have another set, just a, another set of hands to assist because um, if we want to make it as seamless as possible, we realize we can't do it by ourselves. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of other companies and organizations out here um, who have the same passion that we do to assist um, people transition and, and part of our vetting process whenever we're actually bringing a new partner aboard, mm -hmm. um, we actually interview them just to make sure they have like our that. same values mm -hmm. um, in assisting someone transition. We don't um, want to partner with someone who does not care who is going to leave you by the wayside or give you the experience Chanel said her clients were uh, was having um, when she was in the field um, that they never helped me. We don't we don't want to send you or refer you to someone of that nature. So uh, we actually have a vetting process. We interview you when we do that because that's how important networking and marketing um, our company is in the community. So we want to make sure we're having someone do the same same at the same level of care. Absolutely, basically. absolutely. I love that. Oh my gosh, guys, this has been so great. But we will be right back with Rodney and Chanel. I have some home improvement questions to ask. So you guys come right back, okay? And we are back with Yellen Holmes. 
Guys, thank you so, so much for a great interview. Mm -hmm. But I have a DIY question for you guys. Okay. Okay, so let's say I want to do um, a home project, and I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not one of those kind of people. I'm, I'm not handy at all. But I want to do something around the house to kind of spruce it up. What can I do? Well, for those clients we have that want to get full market value that we have to refer to our partners. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things they suggest that may add value to your home are some things like uh, enhancing your landscaping outside for curb appeal. Mm -hmm. um, you may want to find some inexpensive ways to upgrade your countertops at home. You can go online, there's um, things you can do that about, cost you about 500 bucks, you can upgrade it. Oh. Um, you can go to some of your local retail stores and find some of the in-stock kitchen cabinets and get a new cabinet job done or change out some of your lights from the regular mm -hmm. fluorescent to recess lights. Some things of that nature um, will help add value to your home, adding flooring, upgrading the flooring, things of that nature. So some of our clients will say some of those things will help you out. Yeah. Oh, and Google is your friend. Oh, Google. And YouTube. And, and YouTube. You, you have YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. I live on YouTube. YouTube University. Google That's YouTube. what I call it. YouTube University. I've done a lot of home repairs just off YouTube alone. Oh, so, so are you kind of one of those handymen? I told you I don't know any. I'm not the handiest guy, but I can do a fixer-upper here, there. Every now oh, and okay. I can do a few things, but I'm not the handiest guy in the world, no. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, again, thank you so much for a great interview. Thank you for having us in your beautiful home. But before we go, I want to make sure people can get in touch with you. So yes. let's get your contact info. Please do. You can reach us at 844-639-3526. That is, our, uh, is a local number. Okay. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Niellen Homes. You can also follow us on Facebook or reach out to us on Facebook, Real Estate Investing Angels, or also Niellen Homes. Excellent. Also, we have Instagram as well. Oh, yeah. At Niellen Homes. Instagram. We're all over social media. I love that. We're all over social media. Mm -hmm. And also via email, neilandhomes at gmail.com. Excellent. Excellent. Guys, again, thank you so, so much for having us. And thank you for my uh, drink as thank we you close for out. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm your host, Lori Lovell Barr, and this was In My City. Please make sure to follow us on all our social media. For more information on Niellen Homes, visit them at www.niellenhomes.com or email them at niellenhomes at gmail.com.